Now, I can't speak 100% freely about this because a lot of what I have to say is not very, uh, it's kind of taboo, all right? I'll probably get censored for it. What's going on, y'all? My name's Lloyd, and today we have a question from a viewer. So I'm gonna read the email out. It says, hey Lloyd, I live in Washington, D.C., and I'm having trouble with my dating life. All right, cool, well, let's help them out. I've been wondering, a lot of people talk about how things are overseas, and that the women are just a little bit easier to get or you know they're better matches. What do you think about this? Are foreign women better than traditional American women or Western women? So let's answer this guy's question. Let's talk about Western women a little bit. When I mean Western women, I'm talking about people from the United States, Canada, Australia, uh, the Western parts of Europe. Actually, let's take Europe out of this. Let's just say the United States, Canada, and, uh, and, and those areas. Let's talk about women here versus women in other places. Because I live in the United States, but one other thing that I've done that a lot of people haven't is I've traveled to a bunch of different countries. I've actually lived in four different continents in my life, and I've dated a lot of women around the world. Pretty much every single major culture I've been involved with, I've known people from there, I've dated in there. So I know a lot about the differences between American women and other places. Now, I can't speak 100% freely about this because a lot of what I have to say is not very, uh, it's kind of taboo, all right? I'll probably get censored for it um, if I'm brutally honest about the way American women are versus the rest of the world. And it's not all bad, it's just like the differences people are, they're not gonna like the way I say it on this YouTube video. So I'll try and be as PC as I can, but the truth is if you guys want the full uncut version, you should just sign up for the masterclass that I'm having on March 19th. I definitely recommend that you check out that masterclass so you can hear the full unedited version about where I think the best places are to meet women. And uh, yeah, that's, there's gonna be a link down in the description box below. So let's talk a little bit about this right now. When it comes to Western women, uh, I'm just gonna make a couple comparisons. So I'd say probably when it comes to sexuality, Western women, when you compare them to a lot of other cultures, especially in Europe and South America, like the Latin cultures, they tend to be a little bit more, some people say repressed. I don't know if that's the right word, but the way I've experienced it is they're a little weirder about it. You know what I mean? So like for men and women here, for men, sex is like almost like a conquest. And then for women, it's something to be, you don't want to have a very high number and that kind of thing. And a lot of parts of Europe, they they tend to not have so much importance placed on those kinds of things. Now, I've been a victim to these in the United States for sure, um, but I remember I was um, dating a French girl and we were talking about how many people we slept with. I'm pretty open about that stuff, I don't really care. But in general, I would say for American women, you probably shouldn't admit that number to anybody. <laughs> so we were talking about it, she was very free with her sexuality, and she opened, openly admitted that she had slept with over 100 guys. I don't know any American women that would have openly admitted to sleeping with over 100 guys. Now, maybe I'm wrong, I'm, I'm sure there might, be, there might be some people out there, but I would say more often than not, I've met people in other places that were more open about that than here in the United States. For other people, it's like something that they go through naturally, they're a little bit more open with it, so I'd say, I'm not saying American women are harder to sleep with or they're harder to date or, or whatever it is, I'm just saying that they're, um, the way they place importance on sexuality is a little different than the way they place importance in other areas. So that's sexuality. Now let's talk about the behaviors. Now the behaviors, I would say, are different. So people in other countries, they tend to be slightly more traditional. So women in the United States and in Canada and in Australia too, they tend to be like, there's a big like, I don't need no man kind of movement that's going on thanks to feminism and all that stuff. And it's awesome. We have a lot more women you know, in the workforce. We have a lot more women that are starting their own businesses. Someone that I'm dating is starting their own business right now, and I think it's super cool that she's doing that. However, a lot of times, this I don't need no man kind of behaviors, they lead to not doing the traditional things that a lot of men love when it comes to women. You know, I haven't had a woman cook for me in a long time. Like, I'm usually the one who makes the meals, right? Um, that does not happen when I'm, you know, dating someone in, from Latin America or, you know, when I was in Colombia or something like that. So when you're in different areas, they tend to be a little bit more traditional. They tend to be a little bit more submissive, I would say, and they're expecting the man to be a little bit more dominant. Now, women like dominant men in the United States, but I'd say they have, they like to be more independent and, you know, self-sufficient. And the women in other places, they tend to realize that, hey, you know, I, I want a man, that's what I'm going for, and they place a lot of importance on it. So they're expecting their man to be a little bit more dominant, and yes, they probably want you to pay for the meals more, but 
if you're looking for a more submissive woman, I think there's a lot of options abroad. Again, I can't get too specific with it because, you know, if I say, hey, uh, Russian women act like this, then uh, YouTube will go crazy. So I would say in general, those are the biggest differences that I've seen. Now, there are a lot of positives to American women. There's a lot of uh, negatives too, but I would say those are the main difference between those. And you have to decide what is going to be for you, like how is it gonna work? So whoever wrote this email, think about what you want in your life and try and find a woman that's gonna be good for that. I recommend that you check out the masterclass because I'll tell you what areas that I've found to be, okay, certain women here, they tend to be more traditional, certain women here, they tend to want a really dominant man. Uh, you know, like I, we can break that down in the, in the masterclass for you. So I would love to see you guys there. But otherwise, again, if you're thinking about where to meet women, think about what you want and then find someone who's going to fulfill that for you. I mean, for me personally, one thing that I love about dating people that I've grown up around is that there's a lot of things that we can relate to. We can talk about shows that we've seen, but um, you might find a place where they like the same stuff that you like. Maybe if you really like anime or manga, you know, maybe you might date someone in Japan or something like that, you know? It's up to you. Hope I answered your question, man. If you made it, then consider subscribing. Like I said, the link for the masterclass is in the description box below. Good luck out there, you guys.